Tom Smith from Dedham, Mass. Tom has played uh, Club Passim a number of times at their uh, their annual campfires in, in, in May and in September. And I'm looking forward to hearing him play today. So let's bring up Tom Smith. Well, it's certainly an honor to be here, and there's no greater honor to a songwriter than to sing his songs, and I could almost feel the presence of Michael here. So, uh, thanks for everybody who's brought this together. his music and the effect, you know, how wonderful his music is, was. So I always think about, uh, you know, he wrote that song for Charlie, but I always think about Michael when he says, I wonder if he knows what an inspiration he's been. Here's a song that uh, Michael wrote when he learned about the death of his childhood friend, Joe. Those of you who are songwriters will know what I mean when, uh, and I've often heard Michael 
say this, that music, the act of writing music is kind of a healing process. And there's a very touching performance of Michael uh, doing this song at the Rose Garden Coffee House where almost he mumbled as he introduced it. He said, uh, and here I am healing myself. Michael kept his promise in that last verse. I can see him, I can feel him spending his time with an old guitar, wearing his heart on his sleeve. But I hope he knows that the seeds he sowed took root in the hearts of guys like me. Now, if you uh, believe Michael's promo material, it was, you know, this blue-collared uh, commercial fisherman from Fall River. Uh, there's, 
Yeah, I, I do believe that. And uh, however, there was something that contradicted that uh, that kind of persona that I knew of Michael. Anyway, he was very quick because he wore his, his heart on his sleeve. He was very quick to say that he loved you. And uh, that somehow didn't match with the, the stereotype I had. And uh, thinking about how writing song can be a healing thing, this I'm going to finish up with one of my songs that, that I wrote on the day after I learned about the death of my dear brother-in-law, Rob. And uh, you could think, oh, here comes a morose song. But uh, I think of this song as more of a healing song. And thinking of Michael and his easy way of saying he loved you, it kind of examines, reflects on all the different facets that are in that diamond, which is called love. Let's hear it for Tom Smith. <laughs> <laughs>